Nothing symbolizes 18th century furniture more than the cabriole leg. The cabriole design is often associated with the ball and claw foot design, and in England this design was characteristic of Queen Anne and Chippendale furniture. The basis of its original concept was emulated upon legs of certain four-legged footed mammals, especially goats. The etymology of this term specifically derives from the French word cabrioler, meaning to leap like a goat. Although this has been associated with goats, for some reason, Cindy and I call these elephant tables. I guess it's all in how you see things. Do you want to try the stripper? The what? Would you like to play with your stripper, honey? <laughs> I'd like to play with my stripper? Sure, turn off the camera. <laughs> Shame on you. I don't know, I walked into that one. Video. Yeah, you could try the stripper. Okay. Let's get on it. There's the stripper. Start with this. Oh my god, it's just coming right off. Take it right off. Okay, let me have the drawer, the front drawer. Let me just go ahead and get the stripper and bring that right away too. As long as we got it out and we're making a mess, let's make a mess.
Bad cameraman. <laughs> okay, so while we're working, Amazon. <laughs> Amazon just stopped by while we were working. And we got this from our Amazon wish list. This is from Mary. And this is a card scraper kit. Comes with a burnishing tool. And then it comes with all these different card scrapers. There's three of these flat scrapers. And then they also give you some scrapers with curves for doing contours. So we think we're probably going to be using this next week, actually, on the video of this unit that's under this cover. We're not going to give you a sneak peek. No sneak peek. But we need to do some stuff with the top. And we're just talking about using a card scraper on this. So, Mary, just in time. We appreciate yes. it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mary. And you guys, there's a link to our Amazon wish list down in the description. And also to uh, buy me a coffee. And we're saving that money toward a furniture refinishing kit. There's more information on that in the description. And then YouTube also just activated for us uh, what they call the super, super Thanks. And the Super Thanks is right below the video in the little menus where the like button is. There's actually a thank button. And right while you're watching the video, you can click on that and you can help support us. So that's, that's kind of a cool addition to our videos and you can do it without going down and clicking links and all kinds of stuff. You can do it right through YouTube. So Mary, we appreciate it. We're going to be Thank using this next so week. We'll show you guys how to sharpen these and use them. And let's keep going with our uh, side table.
Okay, so we are going to be using the Midwax wood finish. This is um, white elm to do the drawer. Okay. So we got a little bit of dust on here. Ooh, a little bit here. In yeah, that's because it was sitting over there when we were sanding. Well, some of that's in the brush, too. Okay. Because this wood finish is, is a stain and it kind of goes on like a paint, we're really kind of enjoying this and you can get it in pretty much any color you want. But we're going to be putting this on and then wiping it off so it looks more like a wash. It'll be thin. And it'll look just beautiful. And we want it very, like, what is it called? Opaque? Okay. No, iridescent. So you can see the grain. And we're going to leave it like that with one coat. Now we're just staining the outer edge of this. It's the bottom of the piece. So what sticks over, if you look underneath it, it will be the same color as the top. So we're going to be painting the base of this table with Rethunk Junk by Laura in the color Fresh, fresh Sage. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Fresh, fresh Sage. <laughs>
Okay, we are getting ready to do our third coat of lacquer on this. Before we do that, we're going to take some uh, Quad Zero steel wool. We're just going to go over it, and it'll just take any of the nibs, dust nibs and stuff out of it. You don't have to use a lot of pressure. You're just basically buffing it a little bit. Okay, one of the things we always like to do is we like to put these feet on. These are just nail-in feet. We've used this felt pads, but it seems like they tend to come off pretty easy. And these do sit up a little bit, but they won't scratch. wood floors. And this is why I like using lacquer as a top coat. Gives a beautiful sheen, nice and smooth. Just really looks good. And lacquer is a tough top coat too. Very high resistance to water and chipping and stains and all that kind of stuff. You can just see the sheen on that. Rolling? Yeah, we're rolling. So as we finish up the hardware and get the last final pieces together, we'll bring this in, we'll stage it, and we'll show you the final reveal. But first, let's take a quick look back at what we started with. And as always, have a flippin' awesome day.